Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Napoleon Total, and I am back with another Enlisted News episode. Today we are getting a few big updates that are coming. But before we can talk about that, we have to talk about the channel update. A few days ago I caught a cold, or so I thought, after thinking the cold was not so important I started to lose my voice. Yesterday I went to see the doctor who told me that I need to rest my voice and that my voice was in trouble. Said doctor essentially said that I need to rest and not talk. When I asked how long, he replied that he suggested a full 5 to 6 months while on medication. That said I don't really know how much that is going to affect my video production, well just have to see. The only change is that I'm suggesting using a voice bot to make my videos. Now let's get on with the news video. In the upcoming major update as enlisted promised, Gaijin will add the ability to create a unique look for each soldier and vehicle in your army. The update will arrive alongside an impressive selection of dozens of historic clothing and equipment items, tank camouflages, and hundreds of historical markings with the release of Stalingrad. According to Gaijin this huge customization system will appear first and enlisted exclusively for the Battle for Stalingrad campaign, but we will extend it to all of the game's campaigns in the future. That means as of right now all of this is currently for the Stalingrad campaign, this will not appear in Tunisia, Berlin, or any of the other campaigns. However, as time goes on Gaijin might add these customization mechanizes into enlisted. The first thing we have us are soldiers. A new wardrobe will be available for each individual soldier of your squad through their file in the interface. You'll be able to change faces, outer clothing, pants, hats, and even gloves separately. Additionally, we've been careful to keep the overall look of each soldier historical, the options available for clothing and equipment will stay thematic to the campaign. So for those people out there who want to give neon pink to their lads, think again. Also, you'll be able to unlock more customization options for orders for soldiers' appearance and for gold, and in the future, it will also be possible to win in events and through the battle pass. You always have to keep your wardrobe fresh. Customization options are also tied to soldier class, so the range of available items may vary across the board. What they don't tell you is that, if you decide to change the calson or name, of your soldiers then what will happen, is that if you decide to change your perk will instantly vanish, and you'll be left with no perks other than the starting perks for the class. However, the level of your soldiers will not change. Another interesting thing is that this is not free, you do have to pay one calson order. That's only for changing the name. For changing the appearance you either have to pay up in terms of 10 gold, or you have to pay in terms of an appearance order. The same can be done for a soldier who can get a different helmet, but that in a different section. Needless to say, all of this stuff is still being worked out, and when Stalingrad comes out everything will be cleared up. What we know for sure is that you can change your appearance, but that going to cost something. Next, we have vehicle customization. The new design choices for your tanks and planes are just as impressive. In the vehicle menu in your hangar, you'll find a new button labeled customization. From here you can apply special camouflages and unique diesels to your vehicles. Camouflage is applied to the body of the entire vehicle and not only makes its appearance special, but also has a practical function. An effectively camouflaged vehicle is far less noticeable to the enemy. A diesel is not just an opportunity to apply identification markings, but also a way to personalize your vehicle, intimidate the enemy, or boost the morale of your allies. The practice of applying diesels has been known since World War I, when ace pilots applied special distinctive signs to their planes, instilling fear into the hearts of enemies. Now you can truly make your vehicle legendary. Honestly, I don't know if you need to pay for this in terms of orders, but looking at the soldiers I believe that you do, or you have to play the game and get the skins and camouflages in the new battle pass. Speaking of the new battle pass, we have a new battle pass coming to enlist for the Stalingrad update. The new season will begin with the release of the Battle of Stalingrad update and will last for at least 11 weeks. The hunt for Battle Pass rewards promises to begin with renewed vigor. Silenced weapons for all armies, new heroes, and many important improvements regarding mechanics. Yes, you heard me correct we now have silencers on weapons. Some of the silenced weapons are the Irma Emp. This is a rare modification of the Emp submachine gun developed by Irma for the French secret police. This is available in any campaign for the Axis side. We also have the Delisal Commando Carbine. This is compact pistol caliber carbine was used during military operations by British commandos. This is available to Allied soldiers in Tunisia. Finally, another example will be the Wellrod Mark 2. 
The silent magazine pistol with a manual reload action, it was developed during 1942 in Great Britain to arm the intelligence services. This is available to Allied soldiers in Normandy. In addition, there will be eight different silenced weapons for each country every campaign. In the coming battle pass, we will also get 10 fully upgraded vehicles in unique camouflages, only available with the battle pass, and an additional 10 special soldiers of level 5, marked with a special medal. That said these heroes also have a fixed look and name. I honestly like this addition to the game, I really enjoy it and I look forward to playing these vehicles. Another bonus is that we are getting improved rewards, according to Enlisted for this new season, we took into account your comments and suggestions concerning some of the rewards. For the new season, we will be getting a new plus 50% booster for 3 battles, instead of the plus 100% booster for a single battle, which will make progress more balanced and means you aren't out of luck if you have one bad match. Enlisted will also completely remove the booster for squad experience and soldier experience, which some players perceived as a booster for campaign experience. And the number of bronze orders in battle pass this season has been doubled. Therefore that is a lot of new things for Enlisted in the next season. I hopefully believe that these aspects are going to change Enlisted forever, and we might actually start playing Stalingrad, not for the campaign, but for the customization. That said have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.